Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Pore, a sports chiropractor in Brooklyn, Ontario, and I'd like to talk to you today about biomechanics. Biomechanics is a word made up of two words. The first is bio, which uh, relates to biological systems, and the second is mechanics, which has to do with the operational part of that system. Therefore, uh, we want to use this as a method of understanding biological systems how, they're, how they affect athletic performance in an effort to improve that performance and to reduce sports injuries. This information can be used to understand optimal mechanics, that is, those which use the least amount of energy in order to produce the best results. So how does this affect you, or what has this got to do with a chiropractor? Well, first of all, for runners, as with any athlete, the less energy you use while moving a body part through a race or through a practice session, uh, the more you have left at the end for a strong, fast finish or to be able to run longer, further distances. So in order to accomplish this, we want to avoid injuries, which can be caused by five potential things. <clears throat> the first is interaction with your environment. And that would be uh, things like running over a route in the forest or stepping off a sidewalk in the city. Uh, the second is poor equipment, uh, worn out shoes, broken down EVA, uh, that sort of thing. The third is poor training. The fourth is advancing your training before you're ready. So moving up to uh, five practices or five training sessions a week when you've only been doing one. Or moving up to 20 miles when you're only you're only used to doing five miles. And the fifth, and the one that has to do with us, is poor technique. So bio, biomechanical issues lead to poor techniques. That is, the use of muscles and joints in an incorrect sequence, uh, causing them to become injured over a period of time. So either muscles are used in a correct sequence, or extra muscles are used because the proper ones are not firing at all. Different muscles are attached at different angles, uh, and that causes different movements. That's what bad technique is. It's the use of additional muscles, or having additional muscles firing, or not having the proper muscles firing. And this is done, if this is done repeatedly, it leads to injuries eventually down the road. So keep in mind that runners end up with some sort of overuse injury at some point in their time. Probably... 80% of runners will eventually end up with some sort of injury. <clears throat> so, to avoid these injuries, it behooves us to seek and maintain good running technique. Uh, part of the proper technique is an awareness of what that technique looks like and to practice that technique. Another part of proper technique is ensuring that muscles fire in the correct sequence. If something causes muscles uh, certain muscles to misfire or fire out of sequence or not fire at all, then the technique breaks down. So physiology teaches us that muscle fibers either fire or don't fire. If 100% of the fibers in a muscle don't fire, then the muscle does not work. If 50% of the, of the fibers don't fire, then you get 50% of the function and so on. So these fibers fire or don't fire depending on clear signals from the brain, to the spine, to the nerves, to the muscles. And this is where the chiropractor fits in. It's my job to find which nerves are not doing their job and what's the cause. Each, seg each spinal segment has nerves supplying certain muscles. If there is a bad connection uh, between the spine and the muscles causing incorrect muscle sequencing, and that is caused by an interference through associated nerves coming from vertebrae that are dysfunctional, then I can probably fix that. That's the chiropractor's job. The sports chiropractor also um, can correct the function of peripheral joints, feet, ankles, knees, uh, and all these joints through the use of certain soft tissue techniques and to, perform, to improve the function of specific muscles. Though these are called myofascial techniques. Now, for elite athletes, good results are based on gaining every technical and every tactical advantage. They, elite athletes already have most of this. They have the best equipment. 
They have practices which are timed and scheduled well. Environmental issues are controlled and, is and problems are eliminated. And because of science and coaching, their techniques are probably pretty close to perfect. However, they can't always avoid spinal joint and myofascial issues. So that's why they seek out sports chiropractors. For the rest of us, it's important to enjoy our sport. If you're frustrated by frequent overuse injuries or your results are constantly disappointing, it's hard to stay enthusiastic about the sport. So that's why you should seek out a sports chiropractor uh, to help you correct these issues and then periodically to maintain uh, optimal functions. That's all I want to talk about with biomechanics. If you'd like to, if you'd like to learn a little bit more uh, about what I do, please uh, see my website at www.drporay.com or you can give us a call at our Brooklyn office at 905-655-5767 and I hope to see you again the next time. Good running.